Let me introduce again to you a Talos minnow by Fishing Complete. This is it here. What's special about this minnow, I want you to look at two things. One, see the tail? The tail is vertical. It's not uh, perpendicular to the body. And look, I'm holding it still. I'm not shaking it. That's the light, gentle breeze moving it back and forth. So let me just tell you, if I move it now, you can see the action back and forth. It's very, very limp. If I hold it down further where the jig head is, look it. Can you see how limp that is? Amazing. The other thing I want you to take notice of is, look how thin the body is. This guy's been at the gym. And you can see that down here near my fingers, the body gets a little bit bigger, like a belly on a bait fish. But the caudal peduncle, the back part of it where the tail is, is thinner. Okay, so let me show you how to rig them. Now, this is a special jig head made by Dominic. He does a lot of jig heads for the Detroit River. You can see that it's a aspirin pattern, like a pill pattern. It's not round, it's actually round, but then the sides are cut off. I'm using 20 pound braid with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. I cast that minnow out. I wasn't vertical jigging because I wanted to uh, work it back and I didn't move that bait, I don't think, 10 feet through the water and a lake trout smashed it. I know most people use soft plastic minnows for bass, walleye, and I love using them for that, especially in southwestern Ontario, the Detroit River, where you use a heavier jig head. But I'll tell you what, to be able to use this ice fishing and use it over the winter months, whether you're fishing the lake that's open, if you can get your boat in, or in the river, it's amazing. Oh, it's a nice fish. Woo! I love that singing reel. the boots to him because I want to get him in close. He's going down. I'm guessing he hit that in about the 15, 30 foot break. And you know we marked fish on the sonar that looked like they were going after bait fish and bait fish pods. So that's one of the reasons why that Italo minnow works so good. Gorgeous lake trout. That is a trophy fish. Yeah I see him. I see that minnow right in the Oh I'm going to keep him up. Hopefully he's hooked okay. He won't get off until I net him. Look at him. He was cool. What a gorgeous fish. You know, they're such hard fighters that a lot of times it just rips apart the soft plastic. Come here. Come on. Swim into that net. Swim. Swim. Good. Okay, where the, the fisherman has to get his breath. Okay, hold it right there. Oh, the towel's been out of his mouth, which is okay. I'm going to give you a quick look at this fish. Look at it. You appreciate how well that minnow works? For all different species of fish, especially warm water fish when the water gets cold and use like a drop shot rig or you fish it slowly along the bottom, this is what I'm talking about. A gorgeous fish. Okay, let's release him and then I'm going to show you the minnow. Ah! Oh, I couldn't hold him.